Hello and welcome to TVC News at 7. We we'll begin in Plateau State, where the Chief of Naval Staff, Vice Admiral Emmanuel Ogala, has promised to ensure increased crude oil production in the nation through its fight against vandals, as he assures maximum support to the Logistics Command headquarters by providing assistance to all the combat formations. He made the promise during this his visit to the command in Ogara, Delta State, and our correspondent Ikenna Amichi reports. At the center of the Nigerian Navy fight against crude oil thieves is the Logistics Command Headquarters that provides all the necessary support to the combat formation to function effectively. In his tour of Nava units, outposts, and formations, the Chief of Nava staff is here in Ogara to see things for himself. For the flag officer commanding, the Logistic Headquarters Command can better carry out his function with adequate support from the Nigerian Navy headquarters. The process coming back again for each and every event. So you prepare something and somehow when you completed it and that whole game up, you have to go through the entire process. I think this is very inefficient. And we are thinking that maybe we can improve this by creating a system for support space support. After listening to the demands of the Logistics Command, the Chief of Nava staff assured them that the 2024 budget made necessary provisions to enable better service of the force. Our 2023 operation, we have provision, we have folks that uh, we have storage facilities. Uh, I knew that in four locations, which I think were identified in four locations, I think that. According to the Nigerian Navy, its fight against economic saboteurs is yielding positive results with an increase to 1.7 million barrels per day in crude oil production and it is expected to rise this year with a renewed commitment of the Nigerian Navy. Iken Amechi, TVC News, Ogara, Delta State. Well, from Delta State, let's take it to Abia, where the National Commissioner representing Southeast Nepal.